Hello, my name is Ruth Rimmer and this is Clara Rose and we're going to do the All Age Stop today. So Clara Rose, I want you to imagine that you have been shipwrecked on a desert island mm -hmm. and rescuers are going to come tomorrow. So you've got to survive one night and one day on your own and you can choose three things from the things I'll run through in a minute to help you to survive until they come. So you have the choice of a coat, a bottle of water, a loaf of bread, sun cream, a pen knife, a book, matches, a torch, a towel, your favourite toy and a sleeping bag. What three things are you going to choose to help you survive? Um, this. Sleeping bag. Cream. Sun cream. This. And bread. Okay, so there are some good choices there. I'll just give you a bit more context. There are some trees that would shade you from the sun. Would that change any of your choices at all? So water as well. Okay, so if you just want to set yourself up on your desert island whilst I just carry on talking. So Clara has made three really important choices there because as humans we have a number of um, needs that need to be fulfilled to help us to survive. We need warmth and shelter, we need food and we need, um, we need water as well. And without food and water, we only survive a couple of days. And in different countries, the type of food that we have to keep us filled up and give us nourishment um, can vary. So in England, a lot of us eat bread, and that's the same in a lot of other countries. In some countries like Japan or China, um, they would eat a lot of rice instead of bread. And that keeps us filled up for a few hours, and then we get hungry again. So it's just a temporary thing. We also as humans have a spiritual need within us and some people talk about this as a God-shaped hole and we may try to fill that with different things but Jesus says in John's Gospel, I am the bread of life, which sounds like a really strange thing to say but what he's saying there is I am the one who can really fulfil your deepest desire and need to know God. And so I've got two questions for us. Firstly, let's think back yesterday to wow. what we ate that was a bit like bread that filled us up. So in the morning I had porridge, I had bread along with other things at lunchtime, and I had potatoes in the evening with some other food. I wonder what you had that was a bit like bread that helped you to be filled up and have energy for the day. And my second question is, what did we all do yesterday that filled that God-shaped hole within us? Did we pray? Did we read the Bible? Did we spend time with God? And as we go into this day ahead, Next time we eat something like bread or potatoes, noodle, pasta, uh, rice, something to fill us up, what are we doing to meet with God and to meet that spiritual hole within our lives? 